Okay guys, so ampere time per their instructions wants the batteries connected in parallel one at a time, one by one, is what it says. This guy is still charging. He is still in absorption. So after, now this one was at 13.46, this is 13.47. So within uh, a one hundredth of each other, it's not bad. It's actually perfect. So we're gonna let these two sit. In parallel, they want this condition to go on for 12 hours. Don't know why, but um, I'll do it. I should have shown you the gauge, but you're gonna have to take my word for it. 13.46, 13.47, and now this guy is just about completing charge. Yeah, he's still in absorption. And what I've noticed is in the lithium ion charging algorithm on this, it doesn't actually do a float. The float and the storage happen within seconds and it just simply shuts off and you're, it leaves you at about 13.78 and it takes this battery, um, the resting voltage seems to be around 13.46, 13.47. Uh, once it's come to the full charge and it's done at 13.7, once you disconnect the charger, it takes about um, five hours for the battery to settle down to that 13.47. Four six four seven. So once this one is done and completed, I will wait until it hits that voltage and then I'll add it to this string and let them just sit here for uh, a few hours, 10 hours, and then add them into the system tomorrow. We got a record hurricane coming. I'm on the west coast of Florida and um, I'm just south of Tampa. So this actually leads to the Gulf of Mexico. This is uh, salt water here, brackish water. So we gotta see what happens. I need this power, possibly more than ever. So let's see, hopefully this charge uh, goes well. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, this is what they recommended. They said, bring them to a full charge, put them into parallel one by one is what it says. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And it works out perfect because this guy's not completed his charge yet anyway. Okay, finally, here we go. This guy has just completed. That was about six hours worth of charging because it was interrupted. I don't know why, there was no loss of power here, uh, but the charger reflected an interruption. Same with that one. But now it's done, it's come off now, it's showing 13.68, it took it down from 14.2. Um, these two are both showing still 13.46. Uh, so as soon as he drops the 13.46, we will add this one to this bank and let these guys all sit for 12 hours as um, Amper Time has requested. Okay, here we are. It is uh, coming up on six o'clock in the morning on, what's today? Tuesday. And I just now got this guy down to 14, I mean 13.4 where the other two are, 13.44. And so now I can balance all of them. We're going to let these guys sit for today. Um, what I got to do now is get out there and get this place prepped for the hurricane. So all I'm going to do is, uh, hurricane's coming right in on us here. Uh, I am going to disconnect the panels, see what kind of sun we get today. If I get any kind of sun, I'll let the panels charge up the batteries that I have. Um, and then once I've disconnected the panels, I'm going to put this array or this bunch of batteries in that well, maybe I'll keep them in here and see if uh, we get any serious flooding. Once they're load balanced, I know I can put them in no matter what, and they're going to be at a better state than the ones that are out there, charge-wise. So, we'll see. But at least right now they're top balancing and that's all happening.